a heads up for anyone watching this. This video is going to be all driving. A lot of driving. And then some more driving. Followed by a little bit of driving. We're going to wrap it up with some driving. Oh look, a grain elevator. Oil. Yes. The porcupine in the road. I think this is what we want. Yes. Found a map. Ooh, it's warm. It's warm. That means it's working. Just made a pit stop for fuel. 21 miles per gallon, even on the cheap stuff. I am actually uh, pretty happy with the way the truck is performing as far as mileage goes. It's that's 10% higher than I was expecting. Fully 10% higher, 15% higher. Actually, that's yeah, 15% higher than I was expecting. But I think keeping at the lower speeds and staying off the highways uh, is doing a bit for the mileage. Just the power required to push this truck at those speeds, it just doesn't work out. I also grabbed myself a couple hard boiled eggs and some cheese sticks. We could go for another few hours. It is now, woo, it is 622 right now six hours to the next national forest on this route, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna stop there. If I'm really tired, I'll pull over somewhere and sleep and then continue west. I've chosen the slightly more southerly route, sort of through the central US, so I will end up in um, Colorado, uh, Rocky Mountain National Park area, but we'll see what happens. I might find something before we get there. Gauge check. Rock solid in the middle. Ignore that check engine light. Don't worry about that little guy. from Hoosier National Forest. It's late morning, I guess. Technically still morning, almost afternoon-ish. Got in around 1 or 2 a.m. last night. Just sort of went right to bed after transferring some vials. Thought about exploring a bit here, but from the look of it, uh, no less pretty than any of the other national forests we have already been to, but much the same. So I think we are going to drive today. Uh, just head west see how far we can get so yeah let's let's get going 
Well, our place trip repair is holding up. Doesn't budge. Holding stronger than the welds. But I'm a crappy welder, so that's not surprising. Already did a fluid check. Everything is good. Truck is running surprisingly well. I guess not surprisingly well. As well as it always has. That hub, I don't know what's wrong with that hub. Well, that's what the inside of a locking hub looks like, guys. Well, the, the hub assembly itself. This is the, the locking hub. The little retaining ring is still in place. There's quite a bit of play in the stub shaft, which should be held in place by that inner ring on the hub here. So, I think maybe the clicking is just the play in that. Every time I turn, it pushes and pulls on that stub shaft a little bit. I really don't know. So I guess we'll just roll with it and see what happens. How do you get away with naming a town French Lick? I don't know. percent over my estimate that is outstanding 22 is now the number to beat Let's see if we can get over 22 miles per gallon also grab myself some fritos and cheese dip gonna have a very healthy dinner yep
saved the dragonfly's life. Dragonfly zipped across the road just ahead of me. The bird that was chasing it turned back at the last second to avoid running into the side of my truck. Made me smile. A deer just jumped out in front of me. I know the brakes work, or the tires squealing. As I was saying before I was so rudely interrupted by that deer, despite the landscape out here, but it's funny that I'm about to say that the landscape out here is boring and monotonous, and I just have to slam on the brakes because a deer jumped out in front of me. But anyway, boring and monotonous because it's just flat and open, but I actually feel like I'm traveling. For the first six or 800 miles or so through New York, Pennsylvania, West Virginia and most of Ohio, because all of that basically looks and feels like upstate New York. I hadn't really felt like I'd gone anywhere. And now finally feels like I am getting somewhere, traveling somewhere. And I really like that. Glad I missed that deer. Just stopped to fill up the tank, down to 21.4 miles per gallon this time. I'm gonna attribute that to the fact that we were traveling at 65 miles per hour for about 120 miles of the 200 or so that we did. Also, it was a smaller fill up and the smaller the fill up, the less accurate your numbers are gonna be. It's the smaller sample size. There's a cowboy over there. It's not a real cowboy, it's a fake cowboy. It's deceived. This town is literally just some giant grain elevators and a couple closed down stores. A lot of the small towns in the Midwest are like that, I guess. Missouri, or Missouri, depending on where you're from. 
Truck is running very well, given the fact that it's held together by vice grips and bailing wire at the moment. About 10 hours of driving today. I don't know how many miles. I did not keep track. There were a lot of miles. I mean, I think the, the most exciting thing that happened in this episode is nearly hitting a deer. Yeah. Yeah, that was about it. Next time you see me, I think we're gonna we're gonna hit the Rocky Mountains. Uh, not not physically hit the Rocky Mountains. We're going to arrive at the Rocky Mountains. Should get a little bit more interesting from there, I hope. Certainly more things to do out there, more things to see, changing landscape and all that. Thank you for watching this far. Uh, if you did like the video, please do like and subscribe. That makes a pretty big difference. Until then, I will see you next time.